Know the difference between eunuchs, homosexuals and sodomites. Disclaimer. Images used on this video does not reflect the individual's personal behavior. This is simply an artwork. We heard stories, but we do not know these individuals' personal life stories, actions and sexual preferences. Share, like and subscribe to ensure more people hear the word of God. The Bible says. Hosea 4 colon 6. My people are destroyed from lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge, I also reject you as my priests, because you have ignored the law of your God, I also will ignore your children. Proverbs 2. For the Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. 7. He holds success in store for the upright. He is a shield to those whose walk is blameless. 8. For he guards the course of the just. And protects the way of his faithful ones. 9. Then you will understand what is right and just. And fare every good path. 10. For wisdom will enter your heart. And knowledge will be pleasant to your soul. 11. Discretion will protect you. And understanding will guard you. 12. Wisdom will save you from the ways of wicked men. From men whose words are perverse. 13. Who have left the straight paths. To walk in dark ways. 14. Who delight in doing wrong. And rejoice in the perverseness of evil. 15. Whose paths are crooked. And who are devious in their ways. No much is known and thought in the churches about homosexuality. The spiritual origins of homosexuality, God's purpose for mankind, while the devil tried to destroy that purpose through homosexuality and rob people from their destinies. Not much is discussed regarding sex and homosexuality as a covenant to trap men from achieving their purpose here on earth. Today we will talk about a subject you might have never heard in your church. We will deep dive into matters of homosexuality, as well as to why the devil attacks a particular group of men to drag them into sins like homosexuality and sodomy. There is a particular group of men that are highly, I repeat highly special to God. These group of men are the most attacked by the devil, the aim is to lead them to sin and rebel against God through homosexuality and everything that comes with the sins of homosexuality. Remember what the Bible taught us about sins of rebellion. 1 Samuel 15 23. For rebellion is like the sin of divination, and arrogance like the evil of idolatry. Because you have rejected the word of the Lord, he has rejected you as king. Homosexuality is rebellion, and rebellion is arrogance, and arrogance is idolatry. Hence, why the Bible interchangeably call idolatry, prostitution. Colossians 3 5. Put to death therefore what is earthly in you, sexual immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. Exodus 34 colon 15 to 16. Otherwise you might make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land, and they would play the harlot with their gods, and sacrifice to their gods, and someone might invite you to eat of his sacrifice, and you might take some of his daughters for your sons, and his daughters might play the harlot with their gods, and cause your sons also to play the harlot with their gods. Judges 8 27. Gideon made it into an ephod, and placed it in his city Ophrah, and all Israel played the harlot with it there, so that it became a snare to Gideon and his household. Judges 2:17. Yet they did not listen to the judges, for they played the harlot after other gods and bowed themselves down to them. They turned aside quickly from the way in which their fathers had walked in obeying the commandments of the Lord, they did not do as their fathers. There is a particular group of men that Jesus talked about, and God also talked about in multiple verses in the Bible. Many people in the homosexual community twist these particular biblical verses on Matthew 19. Let's revisit the words of Jesus Christ in Matthew 19, 3 to 12. Three some Pharisees came to him to test him. They asked, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for any and every reason? For haven't you read he replied that at the beginning the Creator made them male and female, comma five and said, For this reason a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. 6 So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore what God has joined together, let no one separate. 7 Why then they asked, Did Moses command that a man give his wife a certificate of divorce, and send her away? 8 Jesus replied Moses permitted you to divorce your wives because your hearts were hard. But it was not this way from the beginning. 9 I tell you that anyone who divorces his wife except for sexual immorality and marries another woman commits adultery. 10 The disciples said to him, if this is the situation between a husband and wife, it is better not to marry. 11 Jesus replied not everyone can accept this word, but only those to whom it has been given. 12 For there are eunuchs who were born that way, and there are eunuchs who have been made eunuchs by others and, there are those who choose to live like eunuchs, for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. The one who can accept this should accept it. One more time let's revisit Matthew 19 11 through 12. 11 Jesus replied not everyone can accept this word, but only those to whom it has been given. 12 For there are eunuchs who were born that way, and there are eunuchs who have been made eunuchs by others and, there are those who choose to live like eunuchs, for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. The one who can accept this should accept it.
Jesus Christ is teaching the children of God that there are a special group of people that have been chosen to be dedicated to God Jehovah and the body of Christ. Jesus explained that some chose to dedicate themselves to serve God and abstain from sex and marriage. Others were made eunuchs by humans, either through castration or other means. Now the third very special case, Jesus said some were born that way, meaning no sexual desire for a woman, and no assignment to go on to earth to get married, procreate and fill the earth. This special eunuchs born eunuchs came to deliver the word of God, heal others, be an intercessor between God and mankind, pass on information, wisdom and much more. They were supposed to act like angels on earth. Many times these humans are not too difficult to spot. They have extreme sensitive, spiritually knowledgeable, wisdom and willingness to suffer for others. Let's further distinguish the types of eunuchs Jesus was referring to in Matthew 19. Throughout the Bible, eunuchs had one purpose which is to serve the king. Mind you God Jehovah is the king of all kings. Some men were made eunuchs to serve human kings. Example, Daniel 1 colon 1 to 21. And he brought them to the land of Shina, to the house of his God, and placed the vessels in the treasury of his God. Then the king commanded Ishpenaz, his chief eunuch, to bring some of the people of Israel, both of the royal family and of the nobility, youths without blemish, of good appearance and skillful in all wisdom, endowed with knowledge, understanding learning, and competent to stand in the king's palace, and to teach them the literature and language of the Chaldeans. The king assigned them a daily portion of the food that the king ate, and of the wine that he drank. They were to be educated for three years, and at the end of that time they were to stand before the king. Note. This particular eunuch, Ishpenaz, was a servant to the king Nebuchadnezzar who sieged Jerusalem at one point. Another eunuch in the Bible is the Ethiopian eunuch named Deep Melech. Read Jeremiah 38, 7-10 When Eb Melech the Ethiopian, a eunuch who was in the king's house, heard that they had put Jeremiah into the system the king, was sitting in the Benjamin gate Eb Melech went from the king's house, and said to the king, My lord the king, these men have done evil in all that they did to Jeremiah the prophet, by casting him into the cistern. And he will die there of hunger, for there is no bread left in the city. Then the king commanded Eb Melech the Ethiopian, Take thirty men with you from here, and lift Jeremiah the prophet out of the cistern before he dies. Another eunuch in the Bible that served King Xerxes who ruled 127 provinces from India to Kush, he is found in the book of Esther. Esther 2, 3, 4, 15. 3. Let the king appoint commissioners in every province of his realm to bring all these beautiful young women into the harem of the citadel of Susa. Let them be placed under the care of Hegai, the king's eunuch, who is in charge of the women, and let beauty treatments be given to them. 4. Then let the young woman who pleases the king be queen instead of Vashti. This advice appealed to the king, and he followed it. When the turn came for Esther the daughter of Abihel the uncle of Mordecai, who had taken her as his own daughter, to go into the king, she asked for nothing, except what Higai the king's eunuch, who had charge of the women, advised. Now Esther was winning favor in the eyes of all who saw her. These are more likely the kind of eunuch Jesus was referring as open quote, and there are eunuchs who have been made eunuchs by others, these were more likely the type of eunuchs that have gone through castration. They were often assigned to attend kings and not get married, as some have to look after the harem and the concubines of the king. Another Ethiopian eunuch was described in the book of Act. Acts 8 26-40. Now an angel of the Lord said to Philip, Rise and go toward the south to the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. This is a desert place. And he rose and went. And there was an Ethiopian, a eunuch, a court official of Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, who was in charge of all her treasure. He had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning, seated in his chariot, and he was reading the prophet Isaiah. And the spirit said to Philip, Go over and join this chariot. So Philip ran to him and heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and asked, Do you understand what you are reading? Note. This is an eunuch that served the queen of Ethiopia, but was very much dedicated to God Jehovah which he probably might not have been through castration. As the Bible say in Deuteronomy 23 colon 1. No one whose testicles are crushed or whose male organ is cut off shall enter the assembly of the Lord. Therefore, those might be some of the eunuchs that were made that way. Now let's talk about a second type of eunuchs, the ones Jesus Christ described as open quote, and there are those who choose to live like eunuchs for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. Note. Let's emphasize the words of Jesus on open quote who choose to live like eunuchs for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. Example. Moses was not an eunuch, but he chose to live like one, to fully dedicate himself to the kingdom of heaven. Moses was once married, but he decided to leave his wife and children to follow God, to lead the people of God into the promised land. God gave Moses the Ten Commandments, and instructed Moses to read it to the people each and every day. Thus, Moses left his wife and children behind to fully dedicate himself to the kingdom of God. Exodus 18, 2-4, 13, 19 20 Two after Moses had sent away his wife Zipporah his father-in-law Jethro received her three and her two sons. 
One son was named Jershom for Moses said, I have become a foreigner in a foreign land for and the other was named Eliezer for he said, my father's God was my helper he saved me from the sword of Pharaoh. 13 The next day Moses took his seat to serve as judge for the people, and they stood around him from morning till evening. 19 Listen now to me and I will give you some advice, and may God be with you. You must be the people's representative before God and bring their disputes to him. 20 Teach them his decrees and instructions and show them the way they are to live and how they are to behave. Note. Here is an additional work of the person who chose to live like an eunuch. The job and purpose of such person is to guide the people of God, instruct them, give them direction to bring them into the promise which led him to leave his wife and children to serve the Lord. Matthew 19 29. And everyone who has left houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or children or farms for my name's sake will receive many times as much and will inherit eternal life. Mark 10. 29 Truly I tell you Jesus replied no one who has left home or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or fields for me and the gospel 30 will fail to receive a hundred times as much in this present age. Homes, brothers, sisters, mothers, children fields along with persecutions and in the age to come eternal life. Another example of a man who chose to live like an eunuch is Apostle Paul formerly known as Saul. Scholars believe Saul was once married, but once converted and baptized, Saul became Apostle Paul and left all behind including his wife to serve the kingdom of God Jehovah. 1 Corinthians 7 1. Now concerning the matters about which he wrote, it is good for a man not to have sexual relations with a woman. 1 Corinthians 7 8 9. 8 To the unmarried and the widows I say that it is good for them to remain single as I am. 9 But if they cannot exercise self-control they should marry for it is better to marry than to burn with passion. Note. Many scholars debate whether Apostle Paul was married or not. Based on his word unmarried also means a person who once was married and now is unmarried. Another prophet that scholars also believed to be celibate and dedicated to the kingdom of God was prophet Elijah. We have not found much testimony of his married status in the Bible. Now let's talk about the third type of eunuch, which is the central focus of this video. The ones Jesus described open quote for there are eunuchs who were born that way. This group of men or people, many women might possess such gift too, are a great mystery. These group of human are very special to God, as they operate like angels and intercessors between men and God. This group of humans are extremely rare. They tend to be very gifted, with deep oversight on human and spiritual affairs. Similar to Jesus, they have a very specific call and mission on earth. These group of human are very gifted, sensitive, powerful, knowledgeable, wise and extremely special to God. However, for them to know and exercise their God's given assignment, they must be connected to God 24 7 just like Jesus was. These group of human are constantly being attacked by the devil, because the devil can sense angelic presence around them. The devil can sense the energy, potential and their calling, even though these humans cannot perceive it. Now, their calling and mission can be very exhausting and unbearable, if they are not connected to God 24 7 Example see this interaction between God and an eunuch in the book of Isaiah. Isaiah 56 colon 3. Let no foreigner who is bound to the Lord say, The Lord will surely exclude me from his people. And let no eunuch complain. I am only a dry tree. For for, this is what the Lord says. To the eunuchs who keep my Sabbaths. Who choose what pleases me. And hold fast to my covenant. Five to them I will give within my temple and its walls. A memorial and a name. Better than sons and daughters. I will give them an everlasting name. That will endure forever. 6 And foreigners who bind themselves to the Lord, to minister to Him, to love the name of the Lord, and to be His servants, all who keep the Sabbath without desecrating it, and who hold fast to my covenant, 7 These I will bring to my holy mountain, and give them joy in my house of prayer, their burnt offerings and sacrifices, will be accepted on my altar, for my house will be called, a house of prayer for all nations, 8 The Sovereign Lord declares, He who gathers the exiles of Israel, I will gather still others to them, besides those already gathered. Note. Now let's highlight the words in Isaiah 56, concerning the eunuchs that God Jehovah considered dear to his heart, and were brought on earth, to fulfill a specific assignments. The Lord Elohim said, To the eunuch who keeps my Sabbaths, who chooses what pleases me, and hold fast to my covenant, to them I will give my temple and its walls, a memorial and a name better than sons and daughters, I will give them an everlasting name that will endure forever. Question. Does it sounds like Jesus' assignment on earth? Ask yourself, if you suspect you are a eunuch are you keeping and honoring God's Sabbaths? What are you supposed to do on the Sabbaths? What does it mean? Are you doing the things that pleases God? What are the things that pleases God? Are you holding fast to God's covenant? Do you know what is the Lord's covenant with you and mankind? In Isaiah 56, 
6 to 8 God said for those eunuchs and foreigners who love the Lord and become his servants, and again who keep the Sabbath without desecrating it, and who hold fast to his covenant, those will be brought to God's holy mountain and be given joy in the house of prayer. Question. If you are an eunuch and a foreigner, non-Jew, are you loving and worshipping God on a regular basis? Do you know how to love and worship God Elohim? Do you know why you need to do it? Are you keeping the Sabbath holy? Do you know how and what to do on the Sabbaths? This is a sacred day not the Sunday. When you do that as eunuch, you will certainly see the glory of God on earth and in heaven. There is a special place for you in the holy mountain of the Lord. Mind you, a mountain is a high place. A place of exaltation and glory, a place where we get to see the world as a whole. Heaven is a mountain where we get to see the full glory of God Elohim. If you are a dedicated eunuch, remember your special place in the heart of God and your special assignment on earth. Isaiah 56 says for the eunuchs, their burn offerings and sacrifices will be greatly rewarded and accepted on my altar, which is called the house of prayer. Remember, Jesus, Elijah, Moses were given a very special seat at the table of the Lord Jehovah in heaven. Jesus is said to be seated at the right of the Father because of his sacrifices and dedication to the kingdom of Lord Jehovah. Revelations 5. 9 And they sang a new song, saying, You are worthy to take the scroll, and to open its seals, because you were slain, and with your blood you purchased for God, persons from every tribe and language and people and nation. Ten you have made them to be a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they will reign on the earth. Eleven then I looked and heard the voice of many angels, numbering thousands upon thousands, and ten thousand times ten thousand. They encircled the throne and the living creatures and the elders. Twelve in a loud voice they were saying, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain, to receive power and wealth and wisdom and strength, and honor and glory and praise. Note. For Elijah who also lived like an eunuch God did not allow him to die, and he was taken from earth to heaven in chariots. 2 Kings 2. 11 Then it happened, as they continued on and talked, that suddenly a chariot of fire appeared with horses of fire, and separated the two of them, and Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. Jesus' main assignment was to gather the people of the God, baptize them, give them wisdom and spiritual understanding, save them from this evil world, and give them a clear vision of heaven, the kingdom of God Jehovah. So Jesus said in John 14 colon 2 to 6. To my father's house has many rooms, if that were not so, would I have told you that I am going there to prepare a place for you? 3 And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me that you also may be where I am. 4 You know the way to the place where I am going. 5 Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way? 6 Jesus answered I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the father except through me. So Isaiah 56 the Lord make it clear what is the mission of an eunuch. The sovereign Lord declares. He who gathers the exiles of Israel. I will gather still others to them. Besides those already gathered. Meaning one of the main jobs of an eunuch is to gather the people of God, both Gentiles, foreigners and the Jews to save them, baptize them, worship the Lord Elohim, bring information from God to mankind, prepare seat for the people of God in heaven, the holy mountain of God Elohim. Many times the eunuchs operate like seers. They have high level of sensitivity, high level of intuition, unexplained knowledge and wisdom. What happened to a person that was marked to come into this earth to become an eunuch, but instead, they don't know their assignment? What happened if you don't know you were assignment to be an eunuch? It can be very catastrophic for a person. It can lead to a disaster and self-destruction. Many eunuchs might not have any sexual appetite for a female. They might be some sort of asexual people. Once the demons like Baal, Astherod noticed that, you become hell number one target. The number one role of the enemy is to prevent you from achieving your destiny. The role of the enemy is to prevent you from pursuing and completing God's given assignment on this earth, particularly the eunuch, because they know how special eunuchs are for the kingdom of God. These demons before mentioned have a particular hatred for God's special envoys, the chosen ones. Watch how the devil set up Jesus, Elijah and many others. The persecution on Elijah and Jesus. How the devil confronted and tempted Jesus during the 40 days fasting and the crucifixion. Remember how the demon Baal, through Jezebel and her army chased and persecuted prophet Elijah, and slaughtered hundreds of God's prophets, 1 Kings 18. Remember how Pharaoh and his great army chased Moses during Exodus. That's how much Baal, Astherat, demons and fallen angels hated eunuchs and God's chosen ones. When an eunuch does not know who he is, he will be confronted, chased by the spirit of homosexuality and sodomy. Because an eunuch does not understand why he lacks sexual appetite for a female, and what is his special assignment on earth semicolon thus, he or she is bound to commit abomination, like homosexuality and sexual immorality. They will feel odd, and question why they lack sexual appetite for a female. They might be confronted by the spirit of sexual confusion at early age. It will lead them to believe that they are strange, weird and homosexuals. 
Remember, as I discussed on previous videos, Astherot and the spirit of sexual confusion will attack heterosexual men, women and eunuchs as early as five years old. Therefore, the concept that people are born homosexuals it's a life of the pits of hell. The spirit of homosexuality, Astherot, will attack both men and women at any age as early as five years old. Many of these people might be eunuchs. They become homosexuals due to lack of knowledge and understanding of the word of God, including them missing on earth. The lack of spiritual wisdom at early stage will push them into sexual confusion. That's when demons send recruiters like sodomites to initiate them. Sodomites are a bit different than regular homosexuals, as they purposefully prey on the people of God to lead them to perversion. Judges 19.20 tell story of a group of men from Benjamin, they displayed sodomite behavior, who wanted to rape a Levite, a man of God. Those wicked men said in Judges 19.22 cause quote, bring out the man who came to your house so we can have sex with him that's a sodomite. They were clearly demon-possessed, wicked with appetite for destruction and perversion. One of my videos on homosexuality, a comment came from what I believe to be an homosexual person who claimed that Jesus was an eunuch. He also stated that eunuchs and homosexual were the same group of people, thus, they're both special to God in that sense. I said to that person stand behind me Satan that is a lie from the pits of hell. Always remember the devil is a deceiver and liar. His job is to lie, manipulate and distort the words of God, with false information to drag as many people as possible to hell. Matthew 15 14. Let them alone, they are blind guides. And if the blind lead the blind, both will fall into a pit. Revelation 2 20. But I have this against you, that you tolerate that woman Jezebel, who calls herself a prophetess, and is teaching and seducing my servants to practice sexual immorality, and to eat food sacrificed to idols. Note. Jezebel worshipped Baal, and she led the people of God to commit abomination like sexual immorality and perversion. Revelation 12 9. And the great dragon was thrown down, that ancient serpent, who is called the devil and Satan, the deceiver of the whole world he was thrown down to the earth, and his angels were thrown down with him. The eunuch that does not know who he is, and his special assignment on earth will always be tempted, chased, confronted by many demons. One of them is Baal and Astherot. Astherot department and special affairs is homosexuality and sodomy. Astherot has turned many heterosexuals, Gentiles, Jews, and people of God into homosexuals. Sodomites are Astherot's special envoys and recruiters. Once the enemy detects a chosen one, that he is marked by God to be an eunuch, they will first put the eunuch into a state of sexual confusion. First they understand that you don't understand the reason why you don't have sexual appetite for a female. They understand the sensitive and weaknesses in your soul and physical body. Once they input sexual confusion into your soul and body, now they will bring a sodomite or an homosexual to confront you. These special envoys will bring the spirit of seduction. They will set you up in multiple fronts through orgies, money, power, drugs, all types of corruptions and blackmail. They will manipulate your mind and act lie they understand you better than anybody. Once they break your barriers, they will incite you and drag you into perversion. They will feed on your flesh and own your soul. Now you are very much separated from God. Now you can no longer meet your assignment. And you will certainly die, unless you repent and turn back to God in all honesty. 1 Corinthians 6 9-11 9 Or do you not know that wrongdoers will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither the sexually immoral nor idolaters nor adulterers nor men who have sex with men. 10 Nor thieves nor the greedy nor drunkards nor slanderers nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. Leviticus 20:13. If a man practices homosexuality, having sex with another man as with a woman, both men have committed a detestable act. They must both be put to death, for they are guilty of a capital offense. Romans 1 26-28 tilde For this reason God gave them up to dishonorable passions. For the women exchanged natural relations for those that are contrary to nature, and the men likewise gave up natural relations with women, and were consumed with passion for one another, men committing shameless acts with men, and receiving in themselves the due penalty for their error. And since they did not see fit to acknowledge God, God gave them up to a debased mind to do what ought not to be done. 1 Timothy 1 8 to 11. 8 We know that the law is good if one uses it properly. 9. We also know that the law is made not for the righteous but for lawbreakers and rebels, the ungodly and sinful, the unholy and irreligious, for those who kill their fathers or mothers, for murderers. 10. For the sexually immoral, for those practicing homosexuality, for slave traders and liars and perjurers and for whatever else is contrary to the sound doctrine. 11. That conforms to the gospel concerning the glory of the blessed God, which he entrusted to me. Judges 10.6. The people of Israel again did what was evil in the sight of the Lord and served the Baals and the Ashtoreth, the gods of Syria, the gods of Sidon, the gods of Moab, the gods of the Ammonites, and the gods of the Philistines. And they forsook the Lord and did not serve him. 
1 Kings 11.33 Because they have forsaken me and worshipped Ashtoreth the goddess of the Sidonians, Chemosh the god of Moab, and Mulcom the god of the Ammonites, and they have not walked in my ways, doing what is right in my sight, and keeping my statutes and my rules, as David his father did. 1 Kings 18.19 now therefore send and gather all Israel to me at Mount Carmel, and the four hundred and fifty prophets of Baal and the four hundred prophets of Asherah, who eat at Jezebel's table. Note. Ashtoreth also known as Aphrodite in Europe, Kiander in Angola, Oshan in Brazil, also called in Phoenicia, Ashtot, in Babylonia, Ishtar, and in Arabia, Aftar. This demon has great responsibility in turning eunuchs, straight men Jews and Gentiles into homosexuals and sodomites. For this reason, it is very important that we teach our children the whole Bible from cover to cover. Because the word of God says. Hosea 4 colon 6. My people are destroyed from lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge. I also reject you as my priests. Because you have ignored the law of your God. I also will ignore your children. My son if you accept my words. And store up my commands within you. Proverbs 2. To my son if you accept my words. And store up my commands within you. Turning your ear to wisdom. And applying your heart to understanding. 3 Indeed, if you call out for insight, and cry aloud for understanding. 4 And if you look for it as for silver, and search for it as for hidden treasure. 5 Then you will understand the fear of the Lord, and find the knowledge of God. 6 For the Lord gives wisdom, from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. 7 He holds success in store for the upright. He is a shield to those whose walk is blameless. 8 For he guards the course of the just, and protects the way of his faithful ones. 9 Then you will understand what is right and just, and fare every good path. 10 For wisdom will enter your heart, and knowledge will be pleasant to your soul. 11 Discretion will protect you, and understanding will guard you. 12 Wisdom will save you from the ways of wicked men, from men whose words are perverse. Note. For that reason, we need to read the Bible for ourselves and to our children day and night. Know the truth and the truth shall set you free. The LGBTQ and the homosexual agenda is growing too fast in America and around the world. Share, like and subscribe so that more people can view this message. The people of Israel devoted themselves to demons like Baal and Ashtoreth for lack of God's knowledge and wisdom. Share this video so that people can gain knowledge of the word of God Elohim. Please brother and sisters, if you have not received Jesus, pray with me. Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins, come into my heart, and I make you my Lord and Savior. Please read your Bible every day from beginning to the end, select a version that you can easily understand, example Niv or Esv. You will know the mind of God, faith, power, guidance, God's commandments and instruction, how to be aligned with God Elohim, and deliver yourself from sexual immorality. Ask God to open secrets and knowledge you have never seen before. Hosea 4 colon 6, Luke 11 colon 9 and Proverbs 2. When you open your Bible to gain knowledge declare this word. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am, I have what it says I have, I can do what it says I can do. Today, I will be thought the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert, my heart is receptive. I will never be the same. Never, ever, ever, in Jesus' name. Amen.